Sidecar is a really interesting new feature that lets you use an iPad as a second display for your Mac. This will let us either extend a Mac's display or mirror it. This won't work on every Mac that can run Catalina, but it should work with any iPad that can run iPadOS 13 and works with either generation of Apple Pencil. Sidecar can be used with an iPad connected to a Mac with a USB-C or lightning cable, or it can be used wirelessly. The iPad and Mac must be signed into the same iCloud account, and two-factor authentication must be enabled. For a wireless connection, the Mac and iPad have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, and each need to have Bluetooth enabled. In this video, I'm going to be connecting to my iPad wirelessly. It's possible that you might have less latency or delay if connecting via a cable, but so far in my experience, the wireless connection has been really good. Sidecar exists as a system preference pane on the Mac. There is not really much to this. If a Mac sees a compatible iPad, it will appear in this menu. I just need to select it to connect. That extends this Mac's desktop over to the iPad. For those of you that have used two or more displays with a Mac before, this is going to be familiar. It works pretty much the exact same way. If I go into the Display System Preference, we can control where the iPad is set up relative to the MacBook display. Currently, it's set to exist on the left. I need to move this over to the right side since that's physically where the iPad is. Now I can click and drag this window over to the iPad display. Notice that I'm still using the Mac's trackpad. And if I go to the bottom edge of the display with the cursor, the dock slides up. At the top of the display, we have a menu bar, and I can open things up like here just like I could on the main display. From the dock, I'm going to launch the calendar, which opens on the main display in its own full screen space because that's where I had used it last. Utilizing Exposé, I can move this space over to the iPad and then use the calendar over here on its own display. Four fingers swipe on the trackpad to move between spaces here on the iPad display. We can even select a different desktop background for the iPad. Now I'm going to open the Music app. It's going to be natural to want to use your finger to control the Mac interface here on an iPad. But that's not really how Sidecar works, for the most part. We can either use the input device connected to the Mac, usually a trackpad or mouse, or we can use an Apple Pencil. So here I'm holding the iPad and using the Apple Pencil to navigate in the Music app. One thing that we can use touch input for in Sidecar is scrolling. So I can swipe two fingers to scroll here. To scroll using the Apple Pencil, I need to slide it down to the bottom edge of the window to scroll down and to the top edge to scroll up. Now let's check out our options in the Sidecar preference pane. Show Sidebar is going to provide several contextual buttons in a strip on either side of the iPad display. With these, we can use a finger to tap to hide and show the dock on the iPad. We can also hold down modifier keys like Command, Control, Option, and Shift to do things like Option Click in certain apps. At the bottom of the sidebar is an undo button, a button to bring up the iPad keyboard, and a button to disconnect the iPad from sidecar, removing it as an extra display. With the touch bar active, we essentially get a second touch bar added to this MacBook. 
It will have the same buttons available as I move from app to app as it would on the touch bar of a MacBook Pro. Again, we can use a finger here or the Apple Pencil. But you can't use the cursor from a trackpad or mouse on the sidebar or touch bar. Next, we're going to head back into the Display System Preference on the Mac, and from the Arrangement tab, choose to mirror the displays. Doing this will adjust the display of the Mac to the dimensions of the iPad, and we'll essentially be down to a single display again. But with a wireless connection, I could now use my Mac here on my iPad from anywhere in the house. For those with a desktop Mac or a larger Mac laptop that might be plugged into hubs and other peripherals, this will be great as your iPad can essentially serve as a true extension of your Mac, using an Apple Pencil for the main input device. Sidecar exists as an app on the iPad, so we can still use the dock or app switcher to move to any other app on the iPad and Sidecar will continue running in the background. Sidecar is also going to allow us to use the Apple Pencil for specific tasks in certain Mac apps. I haven't been able to try this out quite yet because the next release of Pixelmator Pro is going to have this feature. This is going to allow for the use of Apple Pencil in Mac photo editing, drawing, and painting. We'll be adding tutorials for specific apps as these updates arrive. So that's an overview of Sidecar, which is one of the biggest additions to macOS Catalina and iPadOS.